All right, probably the most requested video finally is arrived. We are doing Cushing's versus Addison's disease. And the next video I'm gonna include Lupez. So hold on tight, seat buckle yourself in, because here we go. So it's a big topic, guys. But really, there's just like any other diagnosis in nursing, we always cut it down and really focus on what we need to know. Remember, guys, remember, there's a lot of hormones happening here. You don't need to understand every biochemical thing that goes on in the body. We just need to pass our tests and we just need to pass the NCLEX. So, we are nurses here. We're not biochemistry majors. We have to know a little bit, but not all of it, okay? So, let's go here. Cushing's disease is just having too much cortisol, way too much here. Addison's disease is not having enough cortisol, okay? And I'm going to explain exactly how the body produces cortisol, where it comes from, and here we go. So it all really starts, all hormone regulation really starts in your pituitary. So you have an anterior pituitary and a posterior pituitary. I did lectures on posterior pituitary, how it controls ADH and SI and DI, ADH, but we're not talking about that here, that's your posterior, okay? What we are talking about is your anterior pituitary. Your anterior pituitary shoots off a hormone called ACTH. It's just a domino hormone that triggers adrenal release of steroids. So it's just that guy, that messenger that says, hey, adrenals that sit right at the top of your kidneys here, release some hormones, darn it. We need some hormones, okay? So what does your adrenals produce? Your adrenals produce M-A-C, MAC, okay? So you can remember MAC in terms of like a, um, what's it called, Apple computer, or even Mac Compact, where you put your makeup on, or a big Mac, just remember that MAC is the adrenals on top of your kidneys right here. And here's what MAC stands for, I'm gonna bring you in here. MAC stands for mineral steroids, and your mineral steroid that it produces in your adrenals are your aldosterone, also known as aldosterone. Aldosterone is that bouncer at the nightclub doors of your kidneys. He's the hormone that says, hey, we need to hold on to sodium. So once sodium is held on, we're retaining water. Once we retain water, we are increasing pressure in the body, in our vascular beds, in our vascular system. So that increased pressure causes your blood pressure to rise. If we eliminate aldosterone through an aldosterone blocker like spironolactone, we're decreasing and eliminate sodium out of the body. Water releases, or I'm sorry, water follows that sodium and blood pressure is decreased, okay? Cool. Next is your androgens. Your androgens, like your testosterone, um, produce hair as well as your sex hormone. So, if you um, have too much androgens in your body, you produce a lot of hair, you're very hairy, and you want sex a lot. So, that's all I'm gonna say about that one. Next is your C, your corticosteroids, and this, guys, is what we're talking about in both of them. That's right. Uh, Addison's disease and Cushing's. Corticosteroids, guys, is the big one is cortisol. That is produced in the body. That is natural. It's all natural. What we do in the medical field is we always take hormones that are naturally produced in the body and we make medications out of them in the lab. So our bottled cortisol is what we know as prednisone. And prednisone is known as a corticosteroid. Now, what do these guys do? Don't even look right here. 
What do corticosteroids do? Corticosteroids, I want you to think, act like an airbag. Boom. What are airbags used for? Airbags are used in your car if you get in an accident to protect you from harm. So your corticosteroids, anytime you are stressed out, produce and they act like an airbag. They protect you from inflammation and the harshness of reality. Well, not that part, but they protect you. So you're not going to get hurt, okay? So your corticosteroids decrease stress and decrease inflammation. They help you just to relax, man. Take a chill pill. They help you to relax. Now with this, the dirty part about this is they also help you to retain water. So as you're retaining this fluid, you're increasing your potassium level. You're also increasing your weight gain because you're holding on to water. And you're also increasing your blood pressure, okay? So yes, airbags are great. They save your life, but they put a lot of extra space on you. They put a lot of, not pressure, but they take up a lot of extra room. So yes, your airbag's gonna save your life, it's going to decrease stress, decrease the inflammation in your body, but it's also going to kind of smother you. It's going to add a lot of extra weight to you and water retention. So long-term prednisone is difficult with your patients because you're going to have a lot of water retention, really high blood pressure. Okay. So let's get into, back you up here. Our Cushing's versus Addison's disease because once we understand that cortisol is the regulatory factor, Cushing's is just having too much cortisol, just too much. Addison's disease is having just too little. So everything we know about cortisol in terms of weight gain, blood pressure, Addison's, it's going down. With Cushing's, weight gain, blood pressure, and smothering effect, everything is heightened with Cushing's, okay? So let me cut the tape off, and we're going to include Cushing's and Addison's more specifically right now.